The following video is brought to you in part by Yellow Jacket. 68 years of expertise built into every tool. Hey guys, we're going to talk about the field piece job link probes this morning. Just got a set of these in. Pretty excited about it. They're pretty cool looking probes. We're going to take them out of the box one by one. You see our box here. It's a cloth case. There's little compartments inside built in for each one of the tools. Let's take each one of the tools out. We'll get a kind of a first glance at each one of them. Here's our first tool. It is a job link flex psychrometer probe. So it has a little magnet built on it. You can see right here. So you can stick this up against a grill. You can stick it into a supply duct. It has a little tip. You can see where the sensor's at on the inside there. Let's zoom in and take a quick look at that. There's the tip of the psychrometer right there. You can see there's a little sensor on the inside. It has a small opening for air to pass through. You can also see the little magnet right there. So you can stick it onto a grill or some ductwork. Overall, it's pretty cool. It's very flexible. You can do whatever you need to with the tip of it. There's a little button to turn it on. Hold it in. You can see it starts to flash. Turn it off. Flash real quick and turns off. Pretty simple stuff. There's two of those there. So you can get your supply temperature and your return temperature. That's pretty cool because this thing will do some calculations for you. And you'll have all the information you need to troubleshoot your HVAC system. This one goes a step ahead of some of the other smart probes out there, except for like the iManifold, iConnect, or Testo smart probes, because it does have psychrometers you can put in the ductwork. Let's take a look at the pressure sensors. You can see the pressure probe right here. Little button on the front, same way. Have our Schrader there. Maybe a little bit longer than some of the competing probes like the Testo, but not much longer. Not so much so that it'll be hard to handle. Same thing, hit the button to turn it on. Hit the button to turn it off. There's a little selector dial on the back side. You go from liquid to suction line. So depending on how you're going to set this thing up, you just switch it over and it changes its designation. So pretty cool probe. These probes are supposed to have a whole lot farther distance in their connection. They're still Bluetooth, but it's a newer Bluetooth and it's supposed to go up to 350 feet. But we're going to test that out as well because 350 feet is a long way. I had some old field piece stuff that went you know, a couple hundred feet, 300 feet, and it measured from the back of my yard midway through the field across the street from my house. So that's a long distance and more distance than I'm ever going to need. But for commercial guys, it might be a more critical measurement. Can you get 350 feet in a building? I don't know. We'll run some tests and we'll find out and see how far we can go. Last but not least, we have the pipe clamp. These pipe clamps are a little bit different because they have a different kind of sensor in them. And the sensor is temperature compensated. Just so you guys know, a lot of the temperature sensors in these other smart probes are not compensated, but the field piece ones are temperature compensated. We have the clamp right here. And as you can see, there's different pipe measurements. We open it up. You see the metal here and the metal there. When it hits a copper pipe, it completes a circuit and it lets you know that it completes a circuit. If it doesn't complete the circuit, it won't make that reading. Just like the yellow jacket, it has a lot of strength, a lot of strength right there because it has that weight of that sensor in the end of the handle here. So it's going to have to have a lot of strength to hold onto that pipe, especially when it's in this position right here. So it has a pretty good amount of strength. It'll hold onto the pipe. I don't have any issues with that. I'm going to try this thing out as well. We're going to test it out, but this is just kind of a first look. So you have your instructions here. Instructions. Come on, who needs that, right? We all do. We all need the instructions. There's a little bit of emery cloth inside of this bag, and that's to clean the pipe off because this probe right here, you have to have a nice connection to the pipe because it completes a circuit through that pipe from one side of the clamp to the other. So if it's dirty or doesn't make a good connection, you won't get a reading. Also, just as a note, there's the same switch that you see on some of the other stuff right here. Switch it from liquid to suction. And you see an indicator at the end of it. There's your indicator. So all in all, I'm pretty excited about this set. Mainly because it's going to have the quality that we're used to from field piece, but it's also going to have a great range of connection. The app right now relies on a cellular signal. 
you have to have a cellular signal to use this app as of right now. Although I know they're testing for an app that does not require the cellular signal. I talked to one of the field piece guys earlier on this year. They were working on it back then. So I don't know how long it's going to be before that app comes out. Hopefully pretty soon because an offline app is very important to me in particular because I'm in a rural area. It may not be as important in a more populated area where there's a lot of 4G and 3G signal. Out here in the country, you go out in the middle of nowhere, sometimes you can't even make a phone call. It's hard to believe that places like that still exist, but out here, they're all over the place. There's places where I can never make a phone call. I'll do a service call, I leave the place, and my phone beep, 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 because all the texts that I received while I was there just came through. So that's the field piece job link probes, guys. We're going to keep you posted on these. I'll show you testing and we'll test the distance. We'll put it through some extra tests and I'm going to send it down to my buddy Brad Hicks and he's going to test it out as well. So he'll put it through the ringer as far as taking it on service calls, give it a nice run through. So look for a joint effort on this one. He's tested a lot of these smart probes before, so he's the perfect guy to compare these things. So we're going to work together on this one. So look for that. Brad Hicks, he's HVAC in South Carolina. Stay tuned. I will see you on the next one, guys. This video is brought to you in part by Ampro. Make sure to check out the new Ampro IRC-110 thermal imaging camera. Perfect for HVAC technicians in the field. If you like this video, please try out my podcast, HVAC Shop Talk and the Tradesman Podcast. You can find these on Stitcher for Android, Podcast Addict for Android, or the Podcast app for iPhone.